All right, so previously we were covering the node coloring options within the network. In this video, we're going to be going through the tooltip and toolbar customization. Now, as always, within the sample report, you have already a pre-configured variation of the chart that you can explore and further examine. In this case, we're going to go into the training view and actually build our own instance of the chart. So first things first, let's add an instance of the network visual. Let's disable the background and the title. And as far as the setup goes, we're going to be adding region and country into the nodes field and also going to add in total sales in our measures field. Now, if we go into the formatting options, we're going to enable tooltip settings and open that up. And you can see we have one setting that we can customize here, and that is the tooltip type. If you press on it, you can see that we have two options. You can either use custom tooltip or Power BI tooltip. The difference between them is that the custom tooltip is actually our own custom tooltip, whereas Power BI is something that you are familiar with already. Now, if you're using custom tooltip, the way you actually call it out is by right clicking on a node. And you can see this provides you with a pop up that has the name, the value, and also it has two additional settings. You can hide the node or you can collapse it. So, for example, if I click on collapse, you can see that that node plus all the child nodes are going to be hidden from the network. If you want to get them back, you need to click on the back item right here. Now, the other option that we have here is Power BI built in. So once you choose it, instead of right clicking on a node, all you have to do is simply hover over the node and that is going to call out the tooltip. If you want to customize this tooltip, you actually can scroll down a little bit more in the formatting options and open up this tab right here called tooltip and customize the default tooltip. So th these are the two options for the tooltips. Now let's go through the toolbar. Now, first thing you can know about the toolbar is that there is one setting that you can customize, and that is the dark mode. The way it works is that once you enable the dark mode, all the elements within the toolbar are actually going to transition into a lighter version of them. This is going to be really useful for those cases where you actually are using darker report themes, where actually the chart is with, let's say, a black background. So those are going to be ideal for those situations. Now, as far as the toolbar items themselves go, we actually have five of them. The first one is the zoom slider. In order to use it, pretty simple. Click, hold down the leftmost button and just move it up or down, thus either increasing or decreasing the zoom level. Next one is going to be fit network to screen. Once you click on it, it's actually going to take all the nodes, it's going to zoom out, reposition itself if necessary, but every single node that's available on the screen is going to be visible on that viewport. The next one is rearrange elements. Now, rearrange elements is really useful for those cases where you have manually readjusted something. So for example, if I move this node here, I move this one to the top, and then I say, I actually want to go back to what I was before. I click on rearrange elements, and I'm back where I initially started. The next option is lock all nodes. What this allows you to do is to physically fix the positions of the nodes so you can move them more easily. If this option is enabled, what happens is when I'm moving the node, you can essentially see it has a gravitational force. So it's dragging the rest of the nodes with it. If you enable the lock all nodes, you can see that I can move the node, but the rest of the nodes are not taken into consideration. So this is just something to keep in mind. Now, something I want to note here is that the positions that you actually achieve afterwards through the lock all nodes are not going to be saved persistently meaning that as soon as you leave the report page or refresh the visual itself, it's going to go back to the initial state. And the last item that you already saw me using is the back button. It's really useful for those cases where you are applying additional filters or you're hiding items and you want to just get back everything to that initial view. So for example, right click on EMEA, collapse, and then you can see that that node disappeared. So by clicking on back, I can actually call it back out. The one thing to note, though, is that, for example, if you have lock all enabled at that point, you can see that all the nodes are exactly on the same place because that is the starting point for the graph. If you disable this, it's going to try to reposition them afterwards. All right, that's going to be it for the tooltip and toolbar customization, and I'll see you in the next video.